Hello, good morning. Another wonderful day here in the Philippines. We're behind the Epic Mall here in Nagillion. The mall probably opens, I think, around nine o'clock. Big block of apartments here gone up just behind in the last six to eight months completed and alongside it a, a family that's returned from America come back to retire here a Filipino family and they built an investment building next to it so the money gets turned around no matter where we are in the world but my thought for the day it's about you guys. You have a sort of a strange way of thinking, by my standards, that is. Because in the West, of course, we, many of us have been married, maybe separated, divorced during their lifetime. So we all know the risks of marriage the risk of dreams never quite achieved. And therefore, one is left with the idea that, we ponder the idea, I should say, why there is so much suspicion and anger at the thought of people getting married to a Filipina. Why are they a different breed on this planet? Are they something one should be aware of? Like, are they a predator? I don't think so. Do you know more so than a Western lady or another foreign lady from maybe Spain or Italy or France? It's really about how you perceive a relationship because if you perceive a relationship on the grounds that maybe somehow you shouldn't enter it if she has no money and you're the one that has it because then it's a sort of a servant and master kind of relationship and I don't think any relationship based upon that premise is going to really last. It might be okay at the start when the lust is there and the feeling of dominance over your new acquisition is there. But really when you think about it, you're coming to the Philippines for a different kind of lady. So therefore, with the different kind of lady, should you have a different approach to her? Is it necessary to spend one's whole time being aware of what she might or might not do to your wallet? After all, it's your money. So if you're sharing your life now with somebody who maybe has no money of her own and you're making a future with her why on earth would you be worried that she shares in some of that money after all it's a shared relationship is it not is it not one of those events where you need to concentrate on building a life with a young lady? I think that maybe you are still in shock from your relationship overseas. Therefore, because you're in shock, you're super, super suspicious of what could happen, might happen, not necessarily will happen but 
The reality of life here in the Philippines is that most women are looking for you for a lifetime. Your life might be short given that your senior age now is somewhat different maybe to hers. But nevertheless, it's a future. It's one full of dreams, aspirations. And therefore, why is it you cannot see her as a woman who you desire and a woman that you want to be with instead of seeing it always in dollar and cent terms? They often say, if you've got money to spend, then you've got money to lose. So every time you go out and buy a new fridge, a washing machine, of course, fridge is handy. Not essential, but it is handy. A washing machine is a luxury, not only for yourself and for yourself to feel that you've achieved something by giving her a washing machine, as if it's some kind of gift from heaven. Well, I can assure you she's much happier doing it the way her mother told her how and showed her as a young girl. And therefore, the idea that somehow you're going to buy all these little trinkets for her in your new home is somewhat wasted. Wait and see if she really, really needs one. See if it can really help her in her daily routine. You may well find that you have so much in your pocket that you can afford somebody to take the pressures of life off of her shoulders. Maybe a live-in maid. Maybe a nanny. Who knows? Only your wallet knows what you want to spend your life savings on. Many of us come here with the idea of building a home which forms a part of building a relationship here. Because to have a proper relationship, there needs to be a firm foundation. And how better to offer your lady, maybe a child from another marriage. It's not somebody else's kid, as so many people put it in those terms. Of course, if it wasn't your child, it is a child from another family, not yours. But you don't take your wife with only one leg and you say, oh, the other one belonged to somebody else. It's not like that. We've all married people who have actually ended up being married before and maybe have children, maybe adult children maybe teenage children. But why do we treat Filipino women? Because of a failed relationship. You think they're going to dump their kids on somebody else in the family so they can be single with you? I don't think so. You do hear of some families, some mothers deserting their children just like fathers do. But in reality, their child is just as much a part of them as you will become a part of them. Yes, we all know that we will never be number one. Number one is their children, followed by their family and their relatives. And you fit somewhere in between all of that in a misty way. We spend too much time worried about what other people think or how you might think of things. Just accept that life here in the Philippines with a Filipina is going to be very different from what you're used to. And therefore, it's up to you to come to terms with what you have. Once you've decided to have a Filipina, it is a case of
Boot in, boots and all. In other words, you take it with all the pimples and warts that come with it, just like you would in the West. Okay, she's a beautiful blonde with blue eyes. And you thought your life was going to be perfect. Somewhere along the track, the relationship went bad. She ended up with the kids. You lost the house. You're paying the mortgage. Then she remarries. Somebody takes on the role of you as the father in the home. Some of you don't like that. Some of you resist it. You do everything possible to claim your right as a father. But that's understandable. Some people feel that way. But likewise, don't blame the girl because she's had a failed relationship. After all, haven't you? That's why you're here in the Philippines looking for a new relationship. And that's all it is. It's another relationship with all of what goes with relationships. If you make the bad choices and you don't achieve what you're aiming for, then clearly who have you got to blame but yourself? Don't blame her. Blame yourself first. You're the one with the money. You're the one that can get on a plane and go away. She can't. She has to stay and look after her children as if you weren't there and probably on her own, just like she did before you came along. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. We need those extra subscriptions so that we can grow our little channel. You have a lovely day now. Bye.